Hey guys, Patrick here, and back with another How to Be a Good Server video. I've gotten some positive comments and some feedback requesting more, so I thought I'd bring you kind of a little grab bag of tricks that I think can help you be a better server and make better tips. Alright, so today I'm going to talk about the art of the upsell and how upselling is going to increase your check average and increase your tips. I'm also going to talk about how to take advantage of a superficial world and how to improve your appearance, little things you can do. And then finally, um, this one's a little silly, but I think you might like it. And it's how to carry difficult items, little mental tricks that you can do and things you can do to prepare yourself outside of work. All right, so let's get into it. Well, first of all, um, let's just go ahead and cover the appearance aspect. Now, we do live in a very superficial world. And as a waiter or a server, you have to interface with the public a lot. You are the face of the restaurant. And you're going to want to ensure that your appearance is top notch. Now, there are a lot of things that are outside of your control in the realm of beauty and appearance. But there are plenty of things within your direct control that you can affect to increase people's, um, you know, positive uh, reception of you. So, first of all, is always have good dental and oral hygiene. If you're a smoker, try not to smoke right before you come into work, or if you have to smoke, smoke, take a shower, brush your teeth, and go to work. Nobody really wants to smell cigarettes when they're about to order food. Um, you know, make sure that you have, you know, clean teeth, floss, because, you know, when you smile, people are going to see your teeth, and clean teeth say a lot about you. Um, if you need to get some dental work done, you know, save up for it. Try to work out a deal with a dentist. Get a little, you know, if, if that's what you need to do, then do that. Because, trust me, it's going to help. I know from personal experience. I had a dentist do a little, you know, work for me. And it was awesome. It really, uh, really helped me feel better about myself. And that, you know, is, uh, is really what matters. Now, the next thing is not everyone takes care of their uniform. Not everybody irons their clothes. And not everybody shines their shoes. But these two things alone can make you stand out above all other servers. I'd say above 80% of other servers. So what you're going to want to do is get some, what I use is Kiwi shoe polish. And then I take a rag and I, you know, I rub it in really deep and then I spit shine it. And this probably takes about 30 minutes to get a nice deep coat in there. And then I'll just kind of spit shine it and put a light uh, glaze over it. And then it stays shiny like this for years. Then you just have to do every once in a while, just kind of you know, spit on it and just do a little light brush off and it's good as new again. Shiny shoes will take you places. Now, when it comes to um, ironing your clothes, you know you should be doing this already. And especially if you get those uh, creases in your sleeves, it looks really good. Now, to me, ironing clothes is not an option in the professional world. You should definitely iron your clothes when you go to work. This is going to set you apart from everybody. And if the Phantom of the Opera has to iron his own clothes, then so do you. Thanks, Phantom. You're the best. Now, before I move on to the art of the upsell, let's talk a little bit about diet and exercise and what it can do for you as a server. If you're healthy, then it's going to show. You're going to feel better. You're going to be more vibrant. It's going to rub off on people. Now, you have a great opportunity because you're always in front of people to look your best, eat your best, exercise, and you know, be an example of good health. Let's face it, a lot of people in the world today, especially in America, are obese. So this is your chance to be an inspiration and just to look good. So take pride in how you look and make sure that your health is, is in good shape, all right? So but now to the art of the upsell. Okay, now you know upselling is going to increase your check average and your tips, right? And everybody, every manager is going to tell you upsell, upsell, upsell. So how are you going to do this? Well, I want you to view upsells from now on as a win-win scenario, okay? Here's a win-win scenario. Someone with a lot of money comes into your restaurant and they start looking at the menu and they start talking about what they like because you ask them some questions and you remember that you have this premium wine that is only in your restaurant that month. And sure, it's $100 extra, but you know this person you know, can definitely afford it. And so you say, hey, we got this limited edition wine in. It's really great. People have been you know, raving about it. There's only so many in production. And the person says, oh, well, that sounds great. I love, I love wine. I love that varietal. I'll go ahead and have that. 
So now you've increased your check average, but you've also increased that customer's opportunity. That person came out expecting a good time that night to try some good food and drinks, and now they've got an exclusive item. You've just enhanced their evening. Okay, that is a win-win scenario. Now, let's look at a win-lose scenario with upselling. Someone comes into your restaurant, and you know maybe they're on a budget. And so every time they order something, you ask them if they want something extra. You ask them if they want to upgrade their tequila shot to um, Don Julio or you know Patron, and you know they just want the uh, the real uh, tequila or something like that to that effect. You know, always trying to you know get this person to buy the high priced high ticket item. This person, you know, may uh, may purchase something. They may not. Um, but if they do, you know maybe it's not in their best interest because not everybody goes out looking to spend on the top shelf stuff they want to go out and have a good time and buy some you know nice yet affordable things so you know that would be a win lose it would be a win for you and a lose you know and a loss for them and so you know you want to avoid that because everybody is different but you do want to offer the premium items to everyone you know so be completely um you know fair when it comes to that. Always offer people the opportunity for a premium item because they may enjoy it. Don't worry about whether they have money or not, but if someone is resisting the upsell, then you know don't push it. There's no need to. Now, let's go ahead and look at what a lose-lose scenario would be for upselling. And that is that you go in and you never try to upsell anyone on anything. You know you're never going to get the upsell because you're not asking for it, but you already expect that people are going to say no. So now people are not getting the opportunity at the premium item and you're screwing yourself out of a tip. So that's a lose-lose scenario. So always go for the win-win. Now finally I want to wrap this up and give you a little mental trick that you can do the next time you have to carry a tray full of glasses or several plates, okay? And you have to navigate through the dining room and there's people and everything. You don't want to drop that stuff, right? So what do you do? If uh, you get a little nervous or you know you need some you know something to help you uh, in those moments when you need to concentrate and focus. Something that I found that really helps a lot is if I'm in a kind of a high pressure situation like that, and I'm trying to carry something that's really heavy or awkward or fragile. Sometimes I will hum very low, very low pitch, very slight. Hardly anyone else could hear it but me, and I will just hum, and I'll just, and I don't know what it is about humming. But when I hum, and as I look at the drinks and focus, and then I hum, I feel like it releases my anxiety, and it allows me to focus, and I get really calm. So, hum very low under your breath if you're in a you know high pressure situation and you're carrying some awkward things. Now, another thing you can do to um, help improve your uh, tray carrying ability is to lift weights outside of work. Lifting weights is good for you. It's good for your health, and also is good for your coordination. Now, finally, I want to leave you with a little bonus tip. And this is something that's going to help you become more engaging uh, to your patrons and your customers. If you are naturally shy or introverted, when you get to work, you need to already be in the mode of extroversion. So how do you force yourself to become more talkative so that by the time you hit your first table, you're already um, overflowing? Okay, well, here's how you can do it. Here's one method. Make a CD with like your 10 favorite songs and keep it in your car. And before you go to work, put in that CD and sing okay sing those songs but really sing it like you mean it and sing it like you're trying to strengthen your voice and your stomach and your breathing okay now this is going to be good for your voice it's going to be good for uh, your projection and your amplification of your voice but by the time you get to work your voice is going to be so warmed up you're going to be so used to using your voice like communicating like it's nothing that you're going to go up to your tables and when you start talking you're just you know the words are going to flow more easily so sing before work this will get that part of your body working and it'll take the pressure off of trying to make conversation. Now, I know this has been a long video. I hope it's been helpful to you. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And thanks again for tuning in. Take care.